I actually visited the location of my favorite 100 famous views of Edo painted by Hiroshi Jondo to see what the scene looks like today. It is not known exactly where the 106 Fukugawa lumber yardi was painted. However, it seems that it depicts the mode of a lumber yard in the area called Fukugawa Kiba at that time. Please check first where this location was located. It is about 6 kilometers east southeast of Edo Castle. Although it is rough, I enclosed it with a red dotted line. A slightly enlarged map shows the area around Kiba Station on the Tose subway line. The area around Kiba Park on the north side of the station now appears to have been the center of a lumber yard at that time. I covered this with a map of the time. When the scale is adjusted roughly, many words Maku Akiba appear, indicating that this area was a lumber yard. The light blue dashed line indicates the location of the lumber yard. In order to examine the area a little more precisely, let us cover the current map by the Xi with a map from around 1881. This also reveals the lumber yard that still remained at that time. It seems that almost the entire area north of the current Kiba station was used as a lumber yard even in those days. This is a sketch-like pictorial map known as the Kicho Edo Zoo, drawn before and after Takugawa Iyasu's entry into Edo. Although it lacks directionality and accuracy, it is a valuable pictorial map of Edo as it was first drawn. Since this inlet was filled in 1603, it is estimated that this map may have depicted the townscape of Edo around 1602. At the time, the Edo castle built by Oda Dokken was in shambles, and Edo Bay extended into what is now Iidabashi, known as Hibiya no Irie, with brackish marshes spreading throughout the bay. Takugawa Iyasu entered Edo in 1590, and the first thing he began to do was to establish the Kanda waterworks and develop residential areas. Specifically, he reclaimed marshland and secured water. The Takugawa shogunate ordered the feudal lords of various regions to build urban areas in Edo, which led to the cutting down of mountains and the reclamation of inlets and bays, which in turn led to the rapid expansion of Edo as many samurai and their families took up residence and townspeople were also attracted to the area. Craftsmen and carpenters for civil engineering works were also gathered from all over the country. This is a map of Edo drawn in 1690. This was the era of Tsuneyoshi Takugawa. The Kanda Waterworks and Tamagawa Waterworks were completed. Development of the Hanjo Fukugawa area was underway, and the population exploded. However, since buildings at this time were almost exclusively made of wood, fires broke out frequently, and lumber merchants and carpenters were thriving to rebuild. Kinakinuya Bunzimen was particularly famous at this time. He bribed Yanajisa Yashi Ayasu, a daimyo, feudal lord, of the Edo shogunate, and other top officials, and earned huge profits from the construction of the Konpanchudo Hall of Kaniji Temple in Uno, becoming a lumber merchant under the shogunate's warrant. However, Bunzimen, too, lost his Kinakinuya lumber shop in a fire at Fukugawa Kiba, and his lumber business was closed down. In the early Edo period, lumber merchants gathered near Nihonbashi, forming a lumber river bank, but the damage caused by the Mariki Fire of 1657 was so great that the shogunate planned a major remodeling of Edo, relocating shrines, temples, and daimyo's residences to the suburbs. As one of the measures, lumber dealers were forcibly relocated from Nihonbashi to Fukugawa, across the Sumida River, because lumber yards were considered to be a fire hazard. In this map, the east side of Tomioka Hachiman Shrine at the bottom is still under development and is still a waterfront. This is a map of Edo drawn in 1857. This is just the year Hiroshige passed away. If you look closely, you can see that the lumber yard of Kiba has already been formed. The town of Edo itself, centering on Edo Castle, is almost complete. However, even after the Mariki fire, fires did not cease to burn in the town of Edo and the lumber merchants and carpenters continued to prosper, with many fine houses apparently being built in the vicinity of Kiba. By the time Hiroshige painted his picture, 16 of the 18 or so lumber wholesalers were concentrated in Fukugawa. Along with the lumber merchants, 
these carpenters, who were well paid, received about 17 grams of silver per day, or 17,500 yen in today's terms. If the actual working days were 290 days, the annual income would be about 5.2 million yen. The average monthly rent for a tenement house in the Edo period is said to have averaged 500 mon about 7,500 yen in today's money, which means that people were able to live quite wealthy. Although opinions differ depending on what standards are used to compare the price of rice and other items with today's values, it is said that carpenters earned more than 12 million yen a year in today's terms. And it seems certain that carpentry was considered one of the marriageable professions in the male-dominated Edo town of Tokyo. As shown in this painting, most carpenters had carvings on their bodies and wore large top knots on their heads, and were synonymous with the chick Edo man who never carried money beyond the night. Let's take a closer look at Hiroshige's painting. Two sparrows are descending from the snowy landscape. In the center of the snowy sky, black clouds, printed with the Atenashi Bakashi technique, also give a wintry effect. On the far left, a slightly longer piece of lumber stands straight up. The straight timbers, which are waiting to be shipped, are placed at an angle and protrude diagonally from both sides, creating a sense of perspective. A moat for lumber storage has been dug in all directions in this area, and a large bridge crosses over it at the far end. On both banks of the river are the mansions of lumber merchants, who must have built them with their vast wealth. In the blue moat in the center, many timbers are floating, and above them are two men in straw hats, called Kayanami Tobi, who are experts in freely manipulating the timbers. Kayanami Tobi and Kiba used to have a tattoo called Fukagaibori on their backs to distinguish their identity in case of drowning, as they were often involved in water-related accidents. In the lower left of the painting, two puppies are depicted playing in the snow, and in the middle of the parasol, someone is passing by, watching the work of Kayanami Tobi. The word fish on this parasol is said to represent the publisher UOEI, but whether this was a pun or a gratuity, the true meaning of the word is now unknown. On a quiet note, please take a look at Kaes Hasu's subsequent depiction of Kiba. It seems as if Kaes painted Kiba with the same feeling as Hiroshige, doesn't it? Now, I actually went to this place, but since the actual location is not known, I tried to capture the most plausible place with my camera. The moat around Kiba has been converted into a water park. Part of the lumber yard has been transformed into Kiba Park and the Museum of Contemporary Art Tokyo. See the aerial view looking west from the east. It is now impossible to discern which was the lumber yard except for Kiba Park. Also see the aerial view from above Kiba looking toward Tokyo Bay. At the time of Iyasu, the area you are looking at was mostly sea or marshland, except for the lower third of Tsukuda Island on the far right. What about now? Kiba itself was moved further to the seaside and is now called Shinkiba. I tried to fit the present image into Hiroshige's painting. The quiet atmosphere is similar to that of Hiroshige's painting, but it is even a bit lonely. In the early Kicho period, 1596 to 1614, when Edo began its town development, Fukugawa Hachiroman, who came from Setsu province, present-day Osaka, began to develop the area around here. Later, when Hiroshige painted this area, lumber merchants moved in from Nihonbashi, and the area became a lumber town. After the Meiji Restoration, the offshore land reclamation proceeded, Kiba became inland, and the sea disappeared rapidly. In March, 1945, the area was completely burnt to the ground in an air raid on Tokyo. In 1969, a new lumber yard, Shinkiba, was constructed on reclaimed land offshore, and the existing lumber yard was reclaimed and turned into Kiba Park. The moat that ran the length and breadth of the park was generally turned into water parks and walking paths, with condominiums and other buildings lining the sides. In 1878, this area became Fukugawa Ward. In 1947, Fukugawa Ward was combined with Jado Ward to form Kado Ward. Therefore, the area that is now known as Fukugawa is only a small part of the northern part of Monsanakacho.
In Harishijah's time, the world was in a period of uncertainty, with the arrival of never-before-seen black ships from the United States in Edo Bay and a flurry of sharp opinions about the Emperor of Japan and exclusion of barbarians. Looking at this painting again, I feel as if I can hear the disturbing footsteps of the era that continues to the present day, even in this seemingly peaceful and tranquil scene.